Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again. Um, so today I just wanted to go over um, pregnancy symptoms. Uh, first trimester pregnancy symptoms. I am um, well out of the first trimester. I'm now, uh, to, I'll be 22 weeks tomorrow. Uh, so I thought that it would be fun just to reflect and let you guys know that what I've gone through that first trimester and all of the weird symptoms um, sometimes you, you may or may not hear about. Um, so if you're going, if you're newly pregnant in your first trimester and uh, want to know if what you're feeling is normal, um, most likely it is because your body does a lot of weird things when it's growing a human. Um, so hopefully this vlog will help you out. Um, so yeah, that's what I think I'm going to, or not what I think, that is what I will be talking about in this episode or this video. And just like the morning sickness video that I previously uh, posted, um, every pregnancy, the, the, the symptoms that you're going to go through are different between women, but they're also different uh, with each pregnancy a woman has. Um, the common ones, the ones that I've experienced with all three of my pregnancies in that first trimester are um, morning sickness, as you know, and fatigue. Now, the fatigue, though, was different between each pregnancy. And uh, the and I think it's probably just the, the spacing of the pregnancies, really. But with my first pregnancy, um, it hit me like a rock like I was extremely tired I was falling asleep wherever I it didn't matter where I was like I was falling asleep at work um, and, and I had just started a new job so I had assumed that I was just really tired from all of this new information that I was trying to learn but come to find out I was pregnant <laughs> but um, yeah, it it is. Uh, it is. You've never felt fatigue like first trimester trimester pregnancy fatigue. Like you cannot keep your eyes open. I remember um, I'd get home from work and after supper, we, me and my husband, we would watch. We had a couple shows that we were, you know, fans of, and we would watch every episode. And never in my a million years would I have thought that I would ever fall asleep during these these shows because I was just such a big fan and lo and behold um that first that first trimester uh, that first pregnancy I couldn't I couldn't I would fall asleep on a couch pass out and wake up and go to bed I was so exhausted it was crazy now there was about three and a half years between my first child and my second child so I find that with my second pregnancy, I wasn't as tired. Um, I was tired and drowsy and, you know, but it wasn't to the extent of my first. And my theory is, is because I was already so exhausted even before I got pregnant with being a, a mom and, and whatnot and getting used to the mom role, that my body was just already used to being exhausted. So I didn't really feel much different. Mind you, I... I, uh, I did sleep a lot more um, than my than my uh, than normal but just not to the extent of my first now with this pregnancy this is the third pregnancy and there is five years or there will be six years in between um, my youngest child and and the the newborn baby so that's a long time um, I am now back to sleeping full, full nights. The boys are independent. They need me less. So I'm used to having more time and, you know, all of that. So this one hit me hard, um, similar to the first, but I don't want to, I don't want to say more, but it was different though. This one was, a. Uh, this tiredness, this fatigue was kind of funny actually. I was falling asleep at work and I'm sorry if I have colleagues watching this. Yes, I, I admit I was sleepy at work. Um, I could not help it. <laughs> and um, after work, I would, uh, I'd be so exhausted. I would fall asleep on a couch literally right after work. There were times that I couldn't 
actually it wasn't even it was exhaustion and it was also lack of motivation like i was really going through this phase where i just couldn't give any cares if the house was clean if even if we ate like my husband really had to step up because i as soon as i got home i would see the couch i would grab a blanket just lay on the couch and sometimes my intent was not to fall asleep my intent was just to to rest a little before i got up and made supper but lots of times as soon as i hit that couch i was like yeah mm, no i'm i'm not moving i'm not getting up um i had lack of motivation to do anything like anything Moving from the living room to the kitchen was too much work. Forget having to go upstairs. Like I, oh, going up the stairs, I'd just be like, oh my God, like I can't do this. Like I had absolutely zero energy and absolutely zero motivation to do anything. I I didn't want to cook. I wouldn't get up to go and get munchies. I heart, I don't want to, I'm going to just tell you. <laughs> like showering for me during that first trimester. Uh, yeah, I did not shower every day. Um, <laughs> uh, I just, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't going to happen. I figured, you know what, I'll just put a bunch of deodorant and moisturizer on and tie my hair back and, uh, however I look tomorrow is how, however I'm going to look and hopefully I don't stink. That's kind of what was going through my, my brain. Uh, I would brush my teeth, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Um, so it, it was a funny kind of fatigue that one, but I, I'm glad to say I am, I am out of that and uh my energy and motivation is back um i'm not falling asleep at work and i'm showering so there we go um so that's a little embarrassing story for uh to tell the world um and um yeah so that's fatigue so sick morning sickness i have talked about previously so i won't go there um, but the fatigue was different. But other symptoms that, you know, women go through is your boobs, your boobs hurt. Oh my God. Like they're so tender. You don't want to take your bra off. You just want them to stay up here and nothing to touch them. That's that first trimester. Um, again, this one varies with pregnancy. I found my boobs weren't as sore the first two this pregnancy it was like holy mother they hurt like crazy like they were sore and then they they like not only doubled in size i would say they freaking quadrupled in size with this pregnancy um yeah they definitely um <laughs> they definitely grew um but my first two i don't find they they um they grew you know reasonable amount just not not like this one so that's something and that one uh, most women will go through um, the extent of your sensitivity though that one and your your tenderness that will vary between your pregnancies uh, what else your hips so your hips I thought that after having two children um, my hips would be nice and extended and would not need to, to stretch out anymore. Uh, but boy, was I wrong. Um, I find with this pregnancy, my hips from the first trimester till to this day have been so sore. Like they are just, they are just killing me. Like I, I have to walk like when I sleep, when I walk, oh. So yeah, your hips, you will feel it in your hips. You will, you, you'll lay on a side and your hip starts to hurt. You gotta flip over to the other side. And that starts to hurt. Um, you walk weird, you sit too long, whatever. You're just, your hips, yeah. So normally that symptom though, that symptom I didn't really get within my first trimester with my first two. I got those in my third trimester. But this one, this one started right in a dab in the first trimester, my hips. And it's uncomfortable. And it's not fun. Um, what else did I go through? Um, extreme thirst. My first trimester, and now I, I and now too, I, I find I drink a lot of water. But my first is probably not as bad as my first trimester. I don't know what was going on. I could not get. Um, I could not quench my thirst in that first trimester. I was drinking gallons and gallons and liters of of water and on stop I was almost getting concerned with, with how much water I was drinking because that is a sign of, of could be a sign of diabetes as well but um you know 
it, it has gone down a little, so I'm not concerned anymore, but uh, yeah, I was drinking. Like I would have to get up in the middle of the night to drink water, which normally me and sleep, nothing gets in between me and sleep. Um, so yeah, and then with all that water and you're running to the bathroom every two seconds as well. So that is also a symptom though of first uh, trimester early pregnancy symptom is um, you constantly need to, to pee. Even though um, you may not be drinking a lot of water like I was, uh, your hormones in your body are doing some funky stuff and it's making you creating some, and I'm not going to go scientific here, but it's creating something, some kind of hormone in you, which is going to make you uh, need to pee more often. So that's another symptom that you could uh, go through in, in your first trimester. And that symptom, um, I didn't experience with my first two pregnancies. I only experienced the um, the peeing a lot, which I want to relate to the amount of water I was drinking um, in this in that first trimester. Uh, but it could happen, and you could be wondering why you need to pee all the time, and that's why. <laughs> and then in the third trimester, that's going to come back, but it's going to be for a different reason. Um, that one will be because you have a little human pushing up and kicking your bladder. So yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, and another early symptom or early sign is spotting. Um, now spotting is one that, um, freaks out girls, freaks out women, uh, because you never, you don't ever want to see blood down there when you're pregnant. But, um, if it's just a light little spotting, um, a lot of times it's what you call implantation bleeding and that, um, that's just when you're, um, it could either be the egg implanting into your uterine uterus wall, or it could also be, um, if it's a little later in your first trimester, it could be the placenta, um, forming and, and on, onto your uterus wall, which could also cause some spotting. So, um, if you are experiencing a little spot, I will, I wouldn't be concerned with it. It happened with me through all three pregnancies. Um, however, I would not, I would never tell you not to, uh, to get checked out if you're worried because we, we can never take, uh, spotting or any kind of bleeding lightly. Uh, now, if you have a, a, a whole bunch of bleeding, a really red bleeding, then yes, please, um, go get checked out. But if it's just light spotting, then, you know, you can call your doctor and get reassured or however you want to go about it. So yeah, um, that was kind of what I experienced or what I can remember experiencing in that first trimester um, as the major, major symptoms. Um, I forgot to mention, you can also experience some cramping along with that spotting. Um, again, very light cramping, nothing serious, not as bad as period cramp, um, but you do feel some, some uncomfortable cramping there. Um, another, there's, there's all kinds of symptoms actually. Uh, another symptom that, um, that I experienced again with this pregnancy, I experienced it in my first trimester with my other pregnancies. I've experienced it in my third trimester and that's your ligaments pulling in your uterus and that hurts. <laughs> um, you move awkwardly and you feel this sharp pulling and it's on this kind of like on the side, maybe like on the side of your uterus. And, and I guess that's just your, your, um, your ligaments stretching and, and getting ready. But, um, sometimes if you move quickly, it could hurt and, uh, and it, and it pulls a little bit and you got to wait for like a few minutes before the, the pain kind of ceases. So I, I had that a lot when in my later trimester, um, with the first two, but with this one, I'm experiencing, I experienced that right from the first trimester. So yeah, good times. I find with this pregnancy, my first trimester was pretty rough on me. Um, <laughs> I was experiencing every single pregnancy symptom that I think is humanly possible. And, um, I'm happy to say that the second trimester is going a lot better and I am feeling a lot better. Um, but really I just wanted to do this quick vlog and, and uh, let you ladies know so that, um, you know, if you're experiencing similar, um, 
symptoms or, you know, the weird symptoms, uh, you know, then it's all normal. Your body's going through a lot. Creating a human is not something easy to do. Um, so give yourself some rest, uh, take care of yourself and you should be feeling fine in no time. So that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. And if you have not subscribed, please do so. I really, really appreciate it. And um, like and share, <laughs> all of that good stuff. You know what to do. All right, guys, uh, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Be blessed and love you guys. Bye-bye.